Hi Tubies, ESO Alexandra and welcome to part number two of the How to Paint Dark Vengeance series. In this episode we will paint now this Chaos Cultist here. In the last episode uh, I have talked with you about the colors I'm using here for this tutorial and we have uh, created ourselves this color chart that uh, can give us give us some inspiration of colors we can use for our project. <coughs> so, what I will uh, do first is uh, block out some colors. Um, I have decided that uh, I want to paint him uh, like the Blood Pact from the uh, novels, the Gorm's Ghosts novels. And in this case uh, he will have a red uh, uniform. And yeah, and I will go from that. We will start with a, a red for a, uh, as a base. And for that we use our Mephiston Red and Imperial Primer because we want to have a darker version. So, <coughs> just take some red on your palette. This should be enough. <coughs> and remember, always when you are uh, switching the colors, uh, wash your brush because you don't want to have uh, color splashes of other colors in your pots. So, and then we will simply mix them both together and create a darker red. And I think that's dark red enough. So, and now we simply paint the whole uniform in red. I will leave the uh, trousers <coughs> in a different color. I think I will paint them in brown to uh, separate them a little bit from the uniform itself. So, as usual, this is uh, nothing very major interesting. <coughs> and so uh, I will go ahead and uh, paint the trousers in brown. So here our trusty Monfang brown and uh, the <coughs> rest of the uniform in red. And I'll be back in a second. Okie dokie tubies. There you have it. The trousers are black and the uniform is in red. So, but he has a lot of stuff here like this little uh, ammo bags here or the wrappings and the bells and that uh, should also be brown I think but always use the same brown is a little bit of uh, stupid looking and uh, so we take our first step here at our color chart so let's uh, figure out what uh, colors we could use for that so let's see um, I think the uh, wrappings around the arms here this uh, things here um, this should be like a light beige tone and for that I think we should go with, mm -hmm. what color could we use, I think that is good, here yeah. skin tone plus uh, yellow, that would be a good color, so we take our skin tone and yellow and mix those both together. Have it. Not too much. Those areas are not so big. So a little bit of the skin tone. Mix, mix, mix. And there we go. I think that color looks fine. And here we go. Just bring it on. Oh, and uh, also before you ask, yes, he is primed. You can see that at the base, he is primed in gray. If you haven't seen the uh, first video, then you should absolutely check back and see what materials I'm using. 
So right now I'm uh, painting with a GW standard brush. I know it's not an absolutely perfect brush with a, a perfect tip here. You can see it's a little bit broken, but that's totally fine <clears throat> because right now I'm uh, only uh, blocking out the colors and uh, this is the so-called heavy duty work. And for that you don't need uh, your Winsor Newton uh, $30 uh, brushes. No, such a cheap brush is absolutely fine for that kind of work. So. We're almost done with this step. And remember, you can uh, always turn your miniature however you want it. So, <clears throat> so that you can uh, see if everything is painted well and if you can reach anything. Oh, there I made a mistake on the crook on the <clears throat> uniform, but that's nothing much important. So we simply fix it with some of the red color. And there are missed two spots. So, now we have uh, still some other bags and belts. <clears throat> I think the belt here, uh, our paint now in black. So, just take our Imperial Primer, and if you don't have bought the, <coughs> the paint set, you can also use just simply Chaos Black or <coughs> whatever black you have at hand. It's a very, very liquid color. <coughs> Not covering as good as the normal black, but I have to work to live with it. So you at home, you can use your normal black for it. Of course you can. <coughs> so leave it like that. Um, then the belt around his body. I think I will mix now here the Monfang Brown and the black I have on the palette to create something different. There we go. Nice brown. Uh, but not always. Several times I've uh, gotten the questions about can you tell me what color this is, what color that is? Well, you have to learn your colors. <clears throat> Don't rely on me or anybody else to say for yourself what kind of colors are on the miniatures. Just have a look at it and then have a look at your color collection. What colors could match there and Experiment with mixing colors if it is, uh, for example, almost like a Space Wolf Grey, but it is darker. What color could it be? Well, it might be Space Wolf Grey and darkened down some, somehow with some black in it or some uh, darker blue tone. <coughs> Experiment also with ratios of, uh, of colors, for example, if you make a, a one drop of Space Wolf Grey and then uh, 
maybe three drops of uh, skin tone in it that looks totally different than uh, a one-to-one -one mix ratio you see <coughs> and while I'm talking here I'm painting you see what I'm painting so I don't really have to explain it for yourself so also this little thing here the chaos symbol is wrapped around his arm the little leather band bandage yeah like that so then we have the <coughs> the part here I think um, yeah what do I think good question Tell me, what do I think? So let's quickly have a look at our reference sheet, what colors we have at hand, what could fit there. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, yeah, this, this tone here looks interesting. So a pale blue, this is skin tone plus blue, okay. So let's mix it. Mix it, baby. Lay it on the palette. And a little bit of that. <coughs> mixing, mixing, mixing. And there we go. An interesting color. After blocking out all the colors, we will give the whole miniature a wash to create all the shadows. <coughs> a good thing we have already a wash in the painting set. Well guys, I tell you, it's hard with a camera in front of me and the, <clears throat> and the light almost in my face. I can barely see the miniature, but I'm doing my best to give you the best painting tutorial so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So, okay. That should do it. <coughs> Now we go for the skin tone. So for that uh, we mix a darker version. Cardian flesh tone we will mix now with a uh, Moonfang brown. We already have that of course on our palette. So here skin tone plus brown gives this color. So we will mix it. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> and now we will paint the skin in this dark skin tone. Make sure you hit all the recesses. Don't worry if you uh, paint here and there over some areas. We will fix that later. This is just here the 
uh, blocking out stage. Uh, you don't need to be 100% exact in this stage, but in the other stages you need to be, so. <clears throat> don't be a sloppy every time. Just when you can actually do it. Not always. Okay. There we go. Now the hand. Talk to the hand because the hand is not listening. I think you got the point. Uh, I will skip until the whole skin tone is finished. And there I'm back. The next stage uh, is painting the rest of the details in silver. Like here his weapon, here his gun, the chaos symbol, the shoulder, and this little tank here in the back. <coughs> and this little Chaos symbol also. So, of course, I could uh, differentiate every tiny little detail here and paint it in a different color, but um, I don't want him to look like uh, he was invading a color factory. So, just make it simple. Sometimes less is more. So don't overdo it with the different colors. first stage of him is almost done. We have managed to block out all the colors. So I'll finish the silver part and also I will uh, paint this mouth wrapping of him uh, also in black <coughs> and i'll be right back okie dokie there we have him now completely blocked out all the colors i know it's not 100% uh, perfect painted but that's totally fine because uh, now we will take our trusty uh, noon oil wash we have here in the set <coughs> and now we will simply go over the whole miniature and for those of you that watch me the first time here, this is <coughs> how you create shadows. And sorry for all of you <coughs> who are uh, pissed off again uh, about my coffin. I'm very, very sorry for that, but I'm a heavy smoker and, yeah, kids don't smoke. You get such a voice like me. And you're coughing all the time. So don't do it. And of course you will save a lot of money. <laughs> so. 
So for now, this miniature has really nice dark shadows. <clears throat> and if you want to uh, simply paint, uh, let's say roughly 200 of those, that's the stage you want to have done. <laughs> At this stage you can say, okay, I'm, I'm stopping. In a crowd of 200, this looks okay. But if you want to have them more details, then follow me now. Okay, now wash them. And still, while this is wash, uh, wet, <coughs> you wash your brush and can you know, clean off the upper areas like that. See? That way you can uh, avoid getting this dark spots on the main areas. But leave them in the recesses. Very important. So, that we hadn't washed already. So, okay. Careful and always wipe your brush on a little paper towel. And sometimes <coughs> you hear that cling, cling, cling. That's when I wash my brush. So I think all the main areas are clean now. Yeah, at the top of the set it was already dried, but that's okay. So, I think that's enough, and we need to leave this now, depending on the moisture level of your air in your painting room, about half an hour, between half an hour and two hours, to dry. And I'll be back when this is done. So, there we have him now with uh, the wash dried, and as you can see, there were really nice shadows <coughs> and it's all nicely doled down <coughs> uh, what we will do now is highlight the skin and his clothes so for that uh, we will quickly mix again a darker skin tone with our brown and our skin tone yeah like that so <coughs> And now we will start to highlight. We will leave the totally dark shadow areas and start working on the upper parts. <coughs> like that. If you, uh, if it happened to be that uh, the color don't uh, works the way you want, just add a turn a little bit of water in it to give it a better flow <coughs> on your brush, and that way, ah, there you go. You can better paint with it. of the skin parts
<coughs> it is actually a quite easy task to do. You just need a little bit of concentration. And in order to get yourself a steady hand, what I do place it, uh, place your hand itself on the table and uh, <coughs> place your other hand, your little finger, on the hand that is on the table. So you're stabilizing yourself. <coughs> and that way, even with the shakiest hands, you can get quite a steady hand. Yeah, that should do it. Now we will uh, highlight even more. Here you can see our skin tone. <coughs> Mix in a little bit more of the color of the skin tone. Adding more water. <coughs> the higher the highlights, the more water you put into your color to get a smoother transition. Leave now more of the previous color behind, so we get a nice highlight and a transition between the colors. water <clears throat> and if you happen to get a, a cloudy surface with a with a dull down color, with a watered down color, then uh, work just with the tip of the brush and you can <coughs> push around the pools of colored water. That way you can even it out. enough for this chaos traitor here. Okie dokie. Give him eyes. And for that, we use uh, the old one gray. Very, very tiny little bit on the brush. Adjust it good on your brush. And then 
one. And number two. Okay. Now I use eyes. <coughs> now we're gonna highlight the red. And for that we will mix again red and black. On your trusty palette. To create a darker red. And yeah, that should do it. So, and what we will do now is <coughs> highlighting the clothes, starting with the main areas here. I think I will leave these shadows here completely that way, and only focusing on the bigger parts here, like that. So. Just working with a down, down brush stroke, downward stroke with a brush. So, yeah, like that. <coughs> Again on the back. Here a little, and there a little. So now we take again a little bit of the Mephiston red itself into the color. <clears throat> to brighten it up again. So, and we will again work on these areas and leave a little bit of the other color behind so you get a transition. That way, you can very easy highlight. See? <clears throat> There's nothing hard about it. Red highlights are okay, so <coughs> we could also add a little bit of yellow into the red to highlight it even more. You have basically uh, to highlight a red even more <coughs> two ways you could uh, add yellow or white. If you add yellow, you go with the uh, orange range, or you could add white and then you go for the pinkish range. But I think the orange way is good. A little bit of water. So, adjust the amount of the brush. And then, just on the far ends, a little bit, not too much. Like a little bit extreme highlight. <coughs> so I think that should do it. The red parts are done. So now we will uh, highlight here the, the top part. <coughs> For that purpose, we will mix again the blue and the skin tone. We created the Usual uh, the first color with it. There we have it. So, and with that, get that out of the way so that the focus stays on the miniature. Same, just working on the main upper parts, like here, here's a <coughs> fold. I'm working on the top of that. Like that. You see, there's shadow and there's now light on the top. 
same here. Uh, one highlight more and that should do it then. To highlight this color we use uh, now with one gray. Just a little bit. There we go. So. <coughs> Very gently. Only at the edges. Here we go. Yeah. And I think for a gaming miniature this is absolutely enough. This is nothing that you want to uh, put into a, into a competition or something like that. <coughs> And on a table uh, three feet away, this looks absolutely perfect. So, we need now to turn a little black dot on the barrel of the gun. And I would say, after that, the miniature is basically done. We will now <coughs> quickly do the base. Just easy. Move it from the holder. Then I need my trusty white glue, if I can find it. I'll be right back. Okay, Tubies, there I'm back. I have my white glue here. And I have an old brush. Just simply Place it directly on the base. Just like that. So, okay. The base is now placed with white glue and now we will uh, put it through our sand container here with different grains of sand. In other videos I've shown you what kind of sand I use. <coughs> okay, go around with the finger once and ta-da, the base is sanded now. Now we will uh, give this quickly a wash with uh, our known oil. With a big old brush. Just simply tap it gently on. Because the white glue is still wet in this instance here. And so you could move the sand particles. So be patient. Just barely touching with a brush, tipping the base. There we go. This needs to dry now, and when it is dry, I will uh, give it a slight dry brush with uh, Mornfang Brown, paint the base corner in Mornfang Brown, and after that I will uh, slightly dry brush with Cardian Flesh Stone, uh, Flesh Tone, and then the miniature is complete. And I will show you the end result in a second. Be right back. Da 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 da, and he is finished. 
I hope you liked this little tutorial and we will see us in the next episode of How to Paint Dark Vengeance. Stay tuned for that. You're Alexandra.